hello welcome back to my channel yes if you are new to this channel please subscribe it, uh, click the subscribe button below so you receive a copy of our videos whenever we we post a video because guys i'm going to be doing these videos every day every day every day on mathematics okay so today in this series of lessons we'll be looking at polynomials okay so um by definitions polynomials expression is one of the form a n x raised to the power n plus a n minus one x raised to the power n minus one plus a n minus two x raised to the power n minus two plus up to a naught where n is a non-negative integer or a positive integer or whole numbers okay so in this case n can only be whole numbers okay so n cannot take any other value apart from whole okay so as we said guys n equal to you can have um, zero one two three up to okay up to where you can stop but n cannot be uh negative integers it cannot be minus one cannot be minus two cannot be minus three then cannot be half then cannot be 0 0.5 then cannot be two of three it is c so you must know the know that you must know for a fact that uh for an expression of this form to be a polynomial n must be positive integer or zero that is n must be a whole numbers so we continue guys uh remember we are still in definition of term okay we will divide now the terms in polynomial vocabulary i call them vocabularies of polynomials okay so the first vocabulary we have here is called degree degree of a polynomial so the degree of a polynomial is the highest power of x when the expression is arranged in descending order okay this is the highest power of x highest power of x is called the degree of, of the polynomial so in the general polynomial p of x a n x n plus dot 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 plus a naught okay so the degree of this polynomial equal to n so for example if you have a polynomial p of x equal to 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 degree of this polynomial that is the highest power of x here is 2 so this is how to recognize the degree of a polynomial okay always know that it is the highest power of x in the polynomial another term we have here is called the leading term the leading term of a polynomial okay so the leading term here is the term with the highest power term with the highest power okay so in the general representation of polynomial a n x n is the leading term okay leading term is the term with the highest power of x so here a n x n is the leading term uh, for for instance if you have 4 x raised to the power 3 plus x squared plus 2 x plus 1 okay the leading term here the leading term in this polynomial which is the term with the highest power is 4x cubed okay remember in this polynomial we have three terms this is the first term second term third term and the fourth term okay so the leading term is the term with the highest power take note uh, the other uh, vocabulary we have is called the leading coefficient leading coefficient is the coefficient of the leading term coefficient of the leading term 
okay so in the general polynomial we have there p of x equals to a n x n plus dot 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 plus a naught so leaving coefficient here is a n coefficient of the leading term okay so and for instance if you have a polynomial of 5x of cube plus 2x plus 1 okay so your leading coefficient for this polynomial which is the coefficient of the leading term is 5 okay and the leading term of course the leading term is 5x cube s cube okay now from leading coefficient we have what we call monic polynomial monic polynomial okay a polynomial is said to be monic if the leading coefficient is one here the leading coefficient is one leading coefficient is one okay then you said the polynomial is monic that is a n equal to one for instance, if you have p of x equal to x raised to the power 5 plus 2s cubed plus x cubed, okay. here the coefficient of x, coefficient of the leading term or the leading coefficient, rather, let's see that way, leading coefficient leading coefficient is 1. So you see this polynomial is monic okay now the constant of a polynomial what is the constant term is just the term without x so the constant term of a polynomial is the term without x that is term without x okay or some textbook will say term with um x raised to power 0 you may see this in some literature okay so for instance in p of x equals to a n x n plus up to a naught here the constant is a naught okay and if you take this as an example in 3x squared plus 4x plus 1 constant here equals to 1 so, so remember that from the general definition a polynomial function is the expression we gave in the first definition okay so this uh, definition we have here is called a polynomial expression okay so this is a polynomial expression remember So now we move on to what we are trying to showcase here. Now so we can still give some general example of uh, polynomials as an uh, examples of polynomials. We have example here. Examples when n equals to one we have uh, something that like ax plus b this is called a linear expression okay when your n equals to 2 you have ax squared plus bx plus c and you call this a quadratic expression then if you have n equals to 3 you have ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d I call this cubic expression okay so if n equals to 4 we have what we call quartic expression a x4 plus b x raised to power 3 plus c x squared plus dx plus e okay this is called a kind of quartic polynomial this is quartic polynomial okay and finally we have if n equals to 5 that will give you ax5 plus bx4 plus cxq 
plus dx squared plus ex plus f. And we call this a quantic polynomial. Okay. Quantic polynomial. So these are some basic examples of a polynomial. We can still have polynomials of, of higher degree. Okay. Yep. So equality of polynomials. Two polynomials are said to be equal if they are equal in the power of x and in the coefficient of x. So that is where, when we say two polynomials are equal. Now let us look at some examples here. Look at some examples. Consider this example. Let's call this example 1. State whether or not the following expressions are polynomials. Give questions for your answer. Now here, remember that the uh, the power of x must be a whole number. So when the power of x is not a whole number, then the expression is not a polynomial. So if we check number 1, a is a polynomial because the power of x here are whole numbers. d is not a polynomial, okay, because the power of x here is going to be negative when you take the inverse function of it so here is not a polynomial why because if you rewrite the expression you're going to have um, x squared minus 2 x raised to power minus 2 plus 1 okay so because of this expression which has a negative power negative power so it is not a polynomial okay and uh, c, of course, c is a polynomial. x raised to the power 4 plus x squared is a polynomial. Okay. For e, e is not a polynomial because if you write this, you have minus 9 raised to the power uh, x raised to the power r. It's not a polynomial. And f is not a polynomial. Okay, this is underlined using an exponential expression. This is an exponential expression, not a polynomial. So the only polynomial we have here are A and B. For each of the polynomials, example 2, find the values indicated. Okay. So here we are going to take it one after the other. For A we have P of X equal to 3X squared minus 7X plus 1. Okay. Now P of 0 will be 3 times 0. Oh, minus 7 and 0 plus 1 so the 0 square 0 minus 0 plus 1 which is 1 so p of 1 for the same polynomial is going to be 3 times 1 square minus 7 times 1 plus 1 which is 3 minus 7 plus 1 which is minus 4 plus 1 which is minus 3 okay. so now finally p of minus 2 let's check p of minus 2 p of minus 2 will be 3 into minus 2 is to power is to power 2 minus 7 multiplied by minus 2 plus 1 so this is 3 times 4 or uh, minus times minus here will be plus it is 14 plus 1 okay so this is 12 plus 14 plus 1 and this is 27 okay let's take the b we have q of x equals to 25 x minus 27 okay Here. So we are looking for let's take Q of minus 1. So here Q of minus 1 is going to be 25 multiplied by minus 1 minus 27. This is minus 25 minus 27, which is minus 52. So Q of 1 it's going to be 25 multiplied by 1 minus 27, which is 25 minus 27, which is minus 2. And then Q of 0 is going to be 25 times 0 minus 27, which is 0 minus 27, which is 
minus 27 okay so this is substitution in or polynomial substitution in polynomials okay now another set of examples let's call this example 3 for each of the polynomials given state 1 the degree 2 the leading term or 3 the leading coefficient for the constant term and 5 whether the polynomials is monic so we we'll start with a the expression in a is um, 3x raised to the power 5 minus 2x cubed plus 7x plus 11 okay so um 1 the degree of this polynomial is what 5 very good following um the leading term is what 3x raised to the power 5 good and uh, 3 um the leading coefficient what is the coefficient of the leading term is 3 and then we have the 4 the constant term of this polynomial is 11 and finally we have the 5 whether the polynomial is not is monic so it is not monic because the coefficient of the leading term is not 1 so it is not a monic polynomial okay we'll do the same thing for b the polynomial we have in b is minus 7 uh, minus 7 minus 5x plus x square okay so if we rearrange it it's going to give us x square minus 5x minus 7 okay so we'll start the question the degree of this polynomial is 2 okay uh, the leading term is x square okay and uh, the leading coefficient is 1 yeah of course it's 1 the coefficient of the leading term and the constant term of this polynomial is minus 7 and 5 whether the polynomial is monic yeah it is monic because the coefficient of the leading term is 1 so it is monic Let's do the same thing for c for c now we're taking c as an example so the expression we have in c states that um what do we have in c over there okay for c we have p of x equal to 1 over 3 x cube plus 1 over 2 x square plus x minus 1 okay so let's start taking our questions question 1 the degree degree is 3 question 2 uh, the leading term 1 over 3 s cube question 3 leading coefficient is 1 over 3 question 4 uh, the constant term is minus 1 question 5 whether the polynomial is monic no it is not monic okay. so take uh, another example we have question D for D the polynomial given there is P of X equal to 4x minus 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 1 okay we can rearrange this one to give us you rearrange in descending power of x to have minus 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 4x minus 1 so then we can answer a question the degree of the polynomial is 3 okay the leading term is minus 2x cubed and the coefficient of the leading term is minus 2 okay the constant term is um, minus 1 and whether the polynomial is monic no it is not monic okay it is not monic and this is how to answer the questions here so for e let me see if you have e here we have 
x plus 2 p of x so here the degree of this polynomial is 1 okay the leading term is 3x the leading coefficient is 3 okay the constant here is 2 and whether the polynomial is monic no it is not monic and consider this one p of x equals to 5 okay answer the question for this one the leading term is um uh, the degree of this polynomial here is can be written as 5 plus the part the degree is 0 okay or uh, leading term is 5 okay leading coefficient is also 5 okay uh, the constant term is 5 as well and whether the polynomial is monic no it is not a monic polynomial I believe you are following so for each polynomial given here evaluate p of 10 let's call this example 4 so find p of 10 so start with a p of x for a is 7x plus 3 so p of 10 is going to be 7 times 10 plus 3 which is 70 plus 3 which is 73 okay for b p of x is 8x squared plus 5x plus c 6 so p of 10 for this polynomial is going to be 8 multiplied by 10 squared plus 5 multiplied by 10 plus 6 which is 800 plus 50 plus 6 which is 856 Uh, C, P of X equal to 2X scale plus 4X squared plus 6X. P of X equal to, so this is for question C. P of X equal to 2X cube plus 4X squared plus 6X plus 1. So P of 10 is going to be 2 times 10 is to power 3 plus 4 times 10 is to power 2 plus 6 times 10 plus 1 okay so this is going to give us 2000 plus 400 plus 60 plus 1 which is going to be 2464 so for d we have p of x for d to be to be 3x raised to power 4 plus 2x raised to power 3 plus 4x squared plus 5x plus 9 now find p of 10 p of 10 here is going to be 3 times 10 raised to power 4 plus 2 times 10 raised to power 3 plus 4 times 10 square plus 5 times 10 plus 9 so this is 30,000 plus 2,000 plus 400 plus 50 plus 9 which is going to be uh, uh, 32,459 okay. this is of substitution in polynomial okay so this is an introduction to polynomial guys i believe you understand all we have been doing from beginning so this is an introduction to polynomial in our next video we are going to be looking at addition and subtraction of polynomials okay see you in the next video but remember to subscribe